Warhammer 40,000 Dark Tide The story so far For centuries, Atoma Prime and the peoples of the Mobian Domain have been under threat by the corrupting powers of Chaos and insidious Xenos forces from the fringe of its territory that the Adeptus Administratum has chosen to simply classify as the Dark Tide. The people of Atoma Prime know little to nothing about the nature of these shadowy foes, other than what they hear in Imperial propaganda broadcasts but they are certain that they must be defeated if Atoma Prime is to remain within the light of the God Emperor. To deal with the Dark Tide, Atoma Prime has for centuries raised hundreds of regiments for the Astra Militarum from among its teeming masses, known simply as the Mobian Regiments. These heroic fighting men and women have kept the Dark Tide at bay for many standard centuries. This bloody and unyielding conflict is known as the Fringe War. But it was not to last. Nurgle's gift of decay is not only reserved for the flesh of mortals, and so in the era Indomitus, the Chaos Cult called the Admonition infested the Hive City of Hive Tertium on Atoma Prime. When they unleashed this undead plague, and a swarm of poxwalkers began to assault the lower reaches of Hive Tertium, the Mobian 6th Regiment was redirected from the front line deployment to assist in combating the Nurglish corruption. The stubborn will that had kept their forebearers fighting Nurgle's influence for centuries finally decayed and the corrupted regiment turned their barrels and blades on those they had sworn to protect, and thus began their new mission, to see the gifts of the Grandfather spread across the world they were once so devoted to. To stop this growing corruption, the Inquisition recently deployed its forces and agents into Hive Tertium in a race against time to save the Hive City, before it can grow into a cancer that would consume the entire world, or even eventually threaten the entire Mobius Domain. Assault on Hive Tertium Our story focuses on a squad of Inquisition acolytes and operatives under the command of the Inquisitor Grendel investigating the chaos infiltration of the Hive City of Tertium and the desperate measures they must undertake to save the world of Atoma Prime and see that the will of the God Emperor is done. You are one such operative. At first detained aboard the Imperial Prison Transport Tancred Bastion for some crime or whim of the Imperium, during transit, the Tancred Bastion was unexpectedly boarded and summarily overwhelmed by followers of the Plague God, members of the Admonition Cult of Chaos, and the now traitorous Mobian Sixth Regiment. While fleeing the swarms of infected and corrupted, you rescue Explicator Zola, an agent of the Inquisition, and together successfully evacuate from the ship to relative safety. The Explicator has agreed to spare you from your no doubt brutal sentencing by bringing you into the employ of the Inquisition as a newly dubbed acolyte, though you are given little choice in the matter. Once aboard the Inquisitorial Voidship Morningstar, the Inquisition deploys you and other conscripts of dubious origin and skill. You and your fellow dregs, or rejects are fitted with detonation collars to dissuade any would-be dissonance from behavior that would deem such a device to be detonated. This sorry batch of lost souls are sent on missions to different sectors within Hive Tertium to research, retake, and reinforce parts of the Hive that are embattled with the Nurglish infestation and the fanatical cult of the Lord of Death. The Mobian Domain the Mobian Domain is an integral part of the Imperial War Machine, and its space is comprised of several important worlds. The Domain is ruled over by the Lord Margrave of the Hive World of Atoma Prime, who serves as the region's Sector Lord that oversees all. The Mobian Domain 
even among the million worlds under the Emperor's light, is considered highly loyal to the throne, and the domain itself is considered a significantly large part of Imperial space. The domain can be considered a largely self-governed state of the Imperium. It pays its tithes and taxes to Terra, it obeys Imperial law, and its worlds manufacture vast quantities of strategically important goods for the Imperium. Thus, it is highly important to the Imperium, and cannot be lost to the Emperor's foes, whether they be within or without. Unfortunately, the Mobius Domain borders several disputed territories of wilderness space called the Fringe. This space contains multiple Xenos and Chaos threats. The Adeptus Administratum ensures that, for the average citizen of the Domain, the nature of that threat remains a mystery. It is just called the Dark Tide, a shadowy threat that must be kept at bay if the people of the Domain are to remain in the God Emperor's light. It is to protect the Domain from the Dark Tide that the Mobian regiments of the Astra Militarum are raised, mostly from the teeming and ready populace of Atoma Prime, but also from several other worlds in the region. The Mobian regiments have for many centuries been at the center of the bloody conflict known as the Fringe War against the Dark Tide. The young, fresh-faced recruits to the regiments have no knowledge of exactly where it is they are to be sent, or what they will face when they arrive. They are ignorant of the Dark Tide as any other regular citizen, for they were all once citizens themselves. They quickly learn otherwise, as they either become quickly competent or quiet corpses. The galaxy is not a friendly or safe place. There are brutal horrors out there, Xenos species, traitors to humanity, and much worse. All who want nothing more than to extinguish the fluttering flame of human civilization, out on the death worlds of the fringe, the guardsmen of the Mobian regiments called Laz Men are thrown into the meat grinder and come face to face with these unimaginable horrors. In time, their worldview changes. They learn the nature of the Dark Tide and fight it tooth and nail, blood for blood. Sometimes they learn too much. The longer tours of combat result in trauma, both physical and psychological. Some Lazmen are broken by the experience. Some are made bitter and resentful that the grueling combat they experience is generally unrecognized back home, because the Administratum tends to keep all the details of the ongoing conflict quiet so as not to generate public alarm. There might be a few news broadcasts about great victories, but the rest of the turmoil is screened by propaganda. The public is much more manageable when made to forget to those deviants who speak out against the Administratum. Some troopers, of course, serve brilliantly and bravely and remain loyal despite everything they experience, but others, oh so slowly, fall prey to the insidious touch of the Dark Tide. They encounter the malevolent effects of the warp and its denizens, and it changes them. They become, quite literally, in some cases, the very thing they fought against. Just such damn souls make up the Mobian Sixth that was seduced by the creed of the Dark Tide and the lies of the Chaos God Nurgle, and they now seek not simply to kill and exact vengeance for what they endured in the battles of the Fringe War, but to share the dark truth that they have uncovered. They truly believe that they have seen the light offered by Chaos, and that the dark ways that they have discovered are far better and more liberating for humanity than the stagnant rubrics of the Imperium. They seek to share that truth with every living soul on Atoma Prime, and they will slay without remorse any who seek to stop them. Atoma Prime the Hive world of Atoma Prime is the capital world of the Mobian Domain, and has been consumed by conflict with an infestation of chaos caused by a chaos cult dedicated to the god Nurgle, known as the Admonition. 
The world has been classified a war world by the Imperium, after the Inquisition deployed its forces to eliminate the chaos infestation. Otoma Prime is an important hive world that has long been the center and capital of a vast semi-autonomous region of Imperial space, comprising many different human worlds known as the Mobian Domain. Hive Tertium Within the Hive's depths in the Era Indomitus, a Chaos cult called the Admonition, dedicated to the worship of Nurgle, the Chaos God of Disease and Decay, began to rapidly spread among the Hive's population. The dangers of the Chaos corruption of the Hive City's population only worsened once the Mobian 6th Regiment returned from frontline duty to put down the growing rebellion. The Mobian Sixth, its men and women traumatized by their experiences on the front lines of the never-ending conflict, fell to the Admonition's corruption themselves. The highly trained traitorous Militarum Regiment then dedicated all of their skills and resources to bringing down Imperial rule over Hive Tertium and Toma Prime itself, to spread the truth of Grandfather Nurgle to all who would accept his putrescent blessings. So go forth with this knowledge, Acolytes. Ogrims, let your genetic strength prevail you against the mutant. Psychers, turn your malefic mental might upon the witch. Zealots, let your burning faith bring the Emperor's judgment down onto the heretic. And veterans, let not your finger leave the trigger till all that remains is smoking necrotic tissue. And remember, as Tertium falls, rejects will rise. <laughs>